on BBC Radio Sheffield. Now, you're listening to Ellie. I'm going to be with you till six o'clock. I'm in for Howie, and this is super exciting. So, one of our local sports teams has been named Parasport Club of the Year. This is the Sheffield Steel Kings Para Ice Hockey Team, and we can have a chat with their chairman, Jake Oakley, now. Good afternoon, Jake. Good afternoon. Thanks so much for joining me on the show. So, first of all, how long have the Steel Kings been going for and where are you based? Uh, so, we're based out of Ice Sheffield and we've been going since 2014. Um, yes, yeah, so, uh, ticking away nicely since then. Ooh, and how did you get involved? Because it's not just like, you know, playing any kind of sport. You're on ice. Um, so, yeah, so the, the Still Kings is kind of designed for people of all, all sorts of backgrounds, um, able-bodied, disabled, uh, people predominantly with low body disabilities and impairments. Um, my background in it is that uh, I got knocked off my motorbike many years before, uh, I've got some bad knees now, and um, I've always been a big ice hockey fan, so when I found out that Sheffield was going to try and establish a a power ice hockey team I uh, I wanted to get involved straight away and even if I wasn't going to play on a regular basis I just wanted to kind of go down show my support and you know see if I could help help them get established really and as soon as I walked through the door they basically kind of assigned me with a job and uh, <laughs> the rest is history as they say I love that did, what, did you do a sport or were involved in sports before your accident or is it something that you pursued afterwards? Um, to be honest I kind of I was one of those people that was sort of always okay at sport but uh, never really um, was part of a team you know I kind of did a little bit of ice hockey anyway myself from time to time uh, you know kind of football basketball things like that but uh, no I, I was never really that I, I was always more of a sort of supporter of sport as opposed to a player you know yeah do you know I've only ever been to the ice hockey once and it was the Sheffield Steelers I nearly broke my wrist right because you know when somebody scores everybody jumps up don't they and I smacked <laughs> my hand off that plastic seat in front of me and it was ringing god it was so sore and everybody's like woo and that was my experience so I'll have to come and watch you guys and try not to get an injury while I'm doing that but we're here to talk <laughs> about this amazing award Paris Sport Club of the Year who nominated you what do you win um, well, so we, uh, so we, we, as a disability sport, we're kind of known to Parasport UK, and back in February we were um, crowned their club of the month. Um, there are different clubs throughout the year that get obviously that title, um, and all those clubs then get to go into kind of a, um, you know a grand a grand draw basically. All those months get to then decide, you know, who's going to be known as you know team of the year. Um, and we were fortunate enough to uh, to receive the most public votes, and we were able to uh, yeah to take the title. Um, so it, it's all come about, you know, because of that first you know club of the month nomination back in February. Gosh. So it's amazing. So why is it taken so long, sorry? Eh? Uh, just because uh, it was it was February that we uh, we were club of the month. Ah, so, I see. So when we were uh, named club of the month. Uh, then obviously the rest of the year kind of carries on. There is a different club every every single month, and then you know our, you know uh, the voting started in December, so the, the year comes to an end, and all those clubs that were named club of the month, it went head to head to see who will be known as uh, club of the year. Exciting. So how long did it take you personally to learn how to, you know, ice skate, get involved, play that way, or was it something that you just took to? Um. No, it's taken it's taken quite a while now. To be honest, it's one of those things, and you never really stop learning. You know, the, as much as you know, skill kind of moves on. It's always good to kind of be able to push yourself. You know, there's always you know, you can always be fitter, you can always be stronger, faster. You know, it's it's one of those kind of things where you never really you never really stop. You know, but um, it's it's great fun to to learn. It's one of the most inclusive sports that I've ever known, and uh, yeah, it's just it's amazing community really. I'm so glad you've won this award, honestly. It seems so well deserved. And with you yourself, obviously, you had an accident and that's how you got into this. Do most people have the same story or can you talk to me about some of the people that you play with? Yeah, of course. 
Um, well, so the, we're a club that welcomes uh, pretty much anybody. You know, you don't actually have to have a lower body disability, um, mm. but to be so at club level, it's com- it's inclusive. Uh, yeah. Able-bodied and disabled people can play alongside each other. But when it comes to like the national selection, so playing for Great Britain, you do need a classifiable lower body disability. So that's things like amputations, spina bifida, um, cerebral palsy, th- those kind of things that affect uh, a person's lower body. Um, so yeah, at the club we have a, a wide range of um, you know people from all sort of backgrounds, ethnicities, genders, um, playing alongside each other. You know, lots of different disabilities. Uh, some of those I've just mentioned, of course, um, and a few more to boot as well. You know, um, um, it's great because once you get on the ice, none of the lower body stuff matters because it's all done in your upper body. It's all through your arms and your your core. Your you know, and that's. That's what's great. It uh, it makes it quite an equaliser, and so it really doesn't matter. You know, it's only down to you and and your teammates to you know as to how how well you can play the sport. Really, it's it's incredible. If I want to come and get involved with the team, how would I do that? Matt? There might be people listening now that are interested. Well, it'd be wonderful if there are. And um, so we're on all the all, on all the usual social media channels. Uh, you said Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, we even just ventured into TikTok. Um, oh, very modern. Yeah, I know, I know, <laughs> we're trying, we're trying. Um, but yeah, there's lots of different ways that people can reach out. Um, our email address uh, is is the best place to go to if anybody is, you know, out there with a say an ampu- a lower body amputation that thinks I'd like to give that a go. Then that's they're the sort of people we, we'd love to hear from because they have the best chance of making kind of national squads and things like that um, but even so if anybody wants to drop me a message sheffieldsteelkings at gmail.com then uh, I'd, I'd be more than happy to uh, uh, to speak to them and see what we can do and on the flip side if I didn't want to get involved but I wanted to sit and eat popcorn and watch you play how could I do that? <laughs> Well, again, follow us on the social media uh, channels because that's where we put all our, our information out. We actually have a uh, interclub game coming up on the 27th of January, uh, which is going to be uh, a sort of celebration of pride um, to tie in with um, the local uh, local organisations that are also doing pride through ice hockey. Um, so we're going to have a sort of um, dark spurs, white jersey kind of thing with all the Steel Kings involved, completely free. So uh, if anybody wants to come down and see what Power Ice Hockey is all about, cheer us on, have a good time, all for nothing, and just have a look on our social media and they'll find they'll find the links there. Oh, it sounds amazing. Thank you so, so, so much for coming on the show, Jake. I really appreciate your time. And are we going to be going for Paris Sport Club of the Year 2023? <laughs> I'm not sure the letters win it twice, but it would be lovely if we could. Why but, not? Uh, why not? Why not? <laughs> if not this, we'll, go, we'll try and go for something else, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, I bet you will. If there's no rule against winning twice, then there's no reason why you can't. Thanks so well, that, much, that's Jake. That's very true. <laughs>